Hi, welcome back. In my last video, I made this, so if you didn't get a chance to see it, um, you can look back to the previous video. Um, but what I wanted to show you, I've talked about it before, but I've not showed, is um, how one of the things that I really liked about um, Chalk Couture was that you could buy one board, hang it in your house, and you could change it for every season. You wouldn't have to worry about where am I going to store all of these pieces, but still be able to change it um, for the seasons or, you know, um, decorate with your house. So all you need is water. This is just a bottle of water. Um, and this is dry, right? So this is what we made last um, last weekend. This is the glitter that I was just rubbing off. And uh, it's not going anywhere. But if I spray it with water, then I can take a paper towel Sorry, I didn't think that was taping, but I do think it was. So we'll pick up from here. Um, sprayed some water on it. And then all I have to do is rub this. This is just a regular paper towel. And some water. If you don't like the paper towel and water, you can also just take a wipe. And wipe this. And then I'm just going to spray some more water just so we can make sure it's nice and clean before we start a new project on it. So just like that, our design is gone. Make sure that's dry. All right, so I thought we'd play with the new transfer um, that's in. It's the Meet Me Under the Mistletoe. Um, wasn't sure how I wanted to do this. There's also, besides the meet me, there's a kiss me, um, there's a small mistletoe, there's a who needs mistletoe when you're this cute, there's holiday hugs and mistletoe kisses. Maybe we'll do that one. So we're going to put this down. Okay. 
And then I thought we would do the red. for the Again, the consistency of yogurt is what you're looking for. Get all those pieces around the edges. I'm going to use the lime for this so it's a little brighter. Um, I do like the dark evergreen, um, but I thought this would be really pretty with this lime green. And the white. got that white right on there, but that's all right. So first I'm going to do the berries. Okay, then, um, oh, you know what? I wanted to do a little bit of red on that bow. This is just a pan of water right here. Um, that's what I do with my stencils as I put them in the water and then I um, wipe them off with a, either a Lysol or a Clorox wipe. I got red on there. clean this because I just drug it through the red. I probably should have done the green first, but that's what's, if I don't like it, I can just wash it off. I can do it again. Um, all right. So now we'll see what I did. Oops. Yeah, you can see where I got the red on the, the mistletoe, but I like the way that looks. And then you just, I just put it in the water. There it is. 
And then I was just going to use white for this. And maybe we want to add, let's see, because we're just playing right now. Maybe some red over the kisses. I can't put that back in because I mixed it with the white and I don't want to contaminate um, we'll put a little bit over the green or the green over the mistletoe just to let, I mean again we're just playing that's what's so nice And you can see where I um, was sloppy. We'll just clean that up. And there it is. I was sloppy, but um, super cute. You can see how those are lighter because the white was under there. Um, if I would have been more careful, right? Like, but uh, again, I would, we're going to wipe this off and we'll do something else tomorrow. Um, I just thought it would be fun to play with this stencil um, and do something really quick. Thanks so much for watching. Okay. If you want to see how I clean these, um, I just put it in the water, try to get most of the, of the, paint off in the water. Then I put it on a towel, adhesive side down. I have Lysol wipes here, but Lysol, Clorox, store brand. And um, I'm going to wipe this off. And then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna clean the adhesive side. And then I'm gonna let it dry adhesive side up. I'm just gonna move it over here. Um, and then when it's dry, I'm gonna stick the backing back on it. And that's all you have to do. And then just put those back in to keep the chalks from drying out. They have a two year shelf life. Um, and that frame that I was using has a 50 year warranty. So um, it's kind of hard to go wrong with that. So thanks for watching.